Yo, what's going on, my fellow Magic Knights? It is your boy Deadman Vince back for another JJK uh, Fancy Parade video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the last one. Hopefully, it was helpful to you. I kind of talked about what to do for the knowledge missions day one. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about the Homesick Horizon story mission, or not story mission, story event here. So, guys, we actually did not get a story event. I don't think on the first day of JP uh, of uh, JJK. I think what actually happened was we started playing for like the first two days. Everybody was kind of getting their feet wet, figuring out how the game played, and then um, we got an announcement on Twitter saying that we were going to get an event on day three. But we got an event day one automatically. You can see it's going to be here for two weeks. I, I believe they do a pretty good job of cycling out events. So as soon as this one's over, the next one's here. Or I think I think maybe like a week and a half into the first event, they kind of like, they kind of take away access to the event quest, but you can still do Formidable Battle or something like that. I can't remember exactly how the breakdown is. And then the next event's already here, and then you can go ahead and jump to the next thing if you're already done, which I like. It's not overwhelming. It's like multiple things at the same time, yes, but they do it in a way where they give you time to do the first thing, and then they and then they uh, bring in the next thing after a little while. And then if you're still working on the first thing, you still got that little bit of time before it's done, and then you can move on to the next thing whenever you're all set and good. So basically, guys, the way that this works is, you can see right here, these are, uh, you see it says token exchange. So the first place you're gonna wanna start, and it, it shows you right here what you uh, get. You're gonna get this page here. You can get it maxed out. This is gonna be through the future may differ, though the future may differ. This first part right here is gonna increase, applies 45% physical technique increase to self for total of one time for one turn. And this is at max, so this is kinda whatever. And I don't have that many characters who are like physical technique characters, but Toji will come in the future. This right here, gives damage taken decrease to self and honestly i don't know if i like this page necessarily because damage reduction and damage dealing is cool but i'd rather have something that's like okay i heal and get damage reduction or i'm doing extra damage here and then i'm increasing my attack here or something like that like i don't know i like i like the full thing to be synergistic right so i might trade in copies of that page but that doesn't mean that you should. If you see if you see a way for it to fit into your play style, then definitely don't be scared to try and make that page work. Um, but you come to the event quest here, right? And I've already beaten all the normal ones. I beat those last night on stream, right? But you come through all these normal missions here. And basically what each one of these missions are going to give you when you win, you're going to get Kaiju, of course, for getting three stars. You get JP uh, in, a back, in a home screen like background for your first time clear. And since I made it all the way to the last mission, the last mission specifically gave me uh, this right here. But you also see you get these little drop items right here. These drop items are residuals of cursed energy, and you need to collect those. And those are kind of like a stamina for this fight right here. And this fight goes up in level. You can do harder and harder levels. And you see this one, you're only allowed to do it two times a day. Um, Annihilation times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To available annihilation times two times a day the one right below it you can do as many times as you want and just leave it on full auto battle and if you stack up enough of these you can literally just leave this on auto battle and the way that this works is say you can beat the mission in one run if you set it on auto battle and set it to keep running over and over again it will beat it in one run and then keep doing it say it takes your team like two runs so say you do the first run and you don't exactly win i mean you want to come back and try again well the boss's health is still going to be at the same level so if you can do that, you can auto battle this if you want to. The only thing is every two runs or every one victory is going to take you two runs. So you're going to be using two times this stamina right here. So you want to try to get your, character, your team as strong as you can, obviously, before you try to do something like this so that you can try to make sure you can beat it in one go. I kind of want to try to get some of these and see if I can't beat it in one go because my team's like 14k now. But I'll, I'll come back to that in a second. Um, the event plot over here, does anybody ever, does anybody ever really watch the cutscenes in a gacha game? Be honest with me, be real with me. Um, but if we come here to the event mission, you can see there are a lot of missions right here that you can complete. There are daily missions, so you want to make sure that you're doing this stuff daily, clear any event quest 40 times. So I gotta do that six more times actually, and there's two hours left. Wait, what? Two hours left? What time is it? No, I should have three hours left, I think. Unless reset is at 9 a.m. If reset's at 9 a.m., I'm, I'm cool with that as well. Um, then right here, these are just going to be reward. These are going to be missions that you can do throughout the time that the mission is here. Um, honestly, let's look through some of these missions. So a lot of these are just complete an event quest, right? Can you see, uh, complete any event quest five to thirty times. So I've already done that, obviously. Uh, defeat formidable battle of difficulty normal twenty times, which I've already done because I've auto battled it. Um, so it looks like literally just beating stages repeat times over and over again. 
This right here is gonna be more event quests. This is gonna be beating on special grade difficulty, and you see it gives you 200 of these little pages right here. Now, let's go over here. There's a token exchange here. You see through this token exchange, you can get like a SSR memory uh, border. You can get some of those tokens that you need to buy characters. Later on in the shop, you can get skill upgrade materials, level up materials, uh, memory real level up materials, and summon tickets, and the page itself, obviously. So if you look at all the prize pools, it'll show you every single thing here. You can see that there's one, two, three, four, five copies of this page here. And then you get a SSR uh, recollection bit border. And then you go up to seven, you get a, uh, that's really important. That's a really good reward. Then you get just a bunch of regular rewards from this one. And this, this box isn't infinite right here, but yo, you definitely want to make sure you are getting through all these rewards. You get all these rewards in this campaign, bro. Oh, you're going to be sitting pretty for a little bit. So you see on one right here, there was no summon ticket, but on two, there's still no summon ticket. On three, there's a summon ticket. On four, there's a summon ticket. On five, there's a summon ticket. On six, there's a summon ticket. You see what I'm saying here? Eight, summon ticket. So, or seven, I'm sorry, summon ticket. And also, these medals are the medals you need in that little shop. Let's go to the shop real quick and show you what you're fighting for. So right here, those medals can get you a free-to-play character. And I heard that, I heard that uh, Hanami is the one you want, and Jogo is kind of like mid. So I'm gonna look over real quick. Uh, does melee attack hyper damage equal to, tar to target enemies equal to 82.7% of physical and curse energy? Okay, it's all hybrid damage. I kind of like I, I like characters that kind of focus on curse or physical. Okay, so that one's just cursed. And then what is this? He domain expands. Oh, so the domain expansion is not separate, it's their ultimate. Okay, okay, applies attack nullification, invalidation, guaranteed hit. Crit rate increase, 197% crit rate increase, 59.9. And honestly, I want to get both of them, but it seems that Hanami is going to be first pick. Plus, I already have a crazy, crazy blue DPS here. This is Gojo. Um, damage dealt increase, 29.9. Damage taken decrease, ultimate gauge increase, nullification of spell, and resets curse energy to zero and effects in. You know what's funny? The first time we saw Jogo fight anybody in JJK, it was Gojo, and Gojo made Jogo look like an absolute meme tier character. He seemed not relevant. And low key, the same thing's happening in the game because Jogo and Gojo are the same color, but Gojo's like the better DPS, so like Jogo is somewhat not relevant. It's kind of funny. Her spirit, yep. And then Hanami, let's see this. Does ranged attack damage to target enemy equal to 105.2% of curse, curse technique? Now that works, that already synergizes really well with um, Kaito and Gojo because Kaito already boosts everybody's curse, energy, curse uh, technique. The higher the enemy's ultimate count is, the greater the skill effect will be. Okay. Deals range damage equal to 346% of curse technique. Jeez. Okay, okay. Applies 33%, 33.3% damage dealt decrease to all enemies for three turns. Oh, that's crazy. Then applies 86 point or 86% ultimate gauge fill rate to sell for three turns. Okay. And then eventually you can hit your domain expansion. Applies a tech nullification and validation guaranteed hit. Ultimate gauge increase nullification to self and rest curse reset curse energy to zero when effects end. Deals range damage equal to all enemies or no to all enemies equal to nine point nine hundred nine point two of curse technique four hits total. Applies thirty three point one percent damage dealt decrease to all enemies. Nah, Hanami seems kind of fire. Like the good damage with the decreases in it, and also they're gonna give it, and also we can probably farm free dupes of it of her. When the battle starts, applies HP recovery, recovering HP equal to 13% of curse technique every turn to self. Good. Self-sustainability. When a wave starts, recovers 10 curse energy for self. We love self-sustainability. Hanami does look absolutely insane. So those coins are really important as well. But guys, you see all the rewards that you're getting from the Homesick Horizon. So you see how important it is to make sure that you're saving all of those things. And guys, I was actually stuck on this mission right here but i'm gonna try it again real quick and see what i get you can see my current team is at 14 267 so let's see what we get here mechamaru i think is a solid dps uh kaito is a good um supporter gojo is gojo let's not be stupid here we don't need explanations come on now okay let's see how this goes for us if this doesn't go well for me, I might need to... I want to beat it with three stars. That's why. 
but three stars might not be in the cards for me. That was kind of bars, I think. Three stars might not be in the cards. That was kind of bars. That was that was all just a that was all a verse that I was spitting for y'all. I just wanted to test my rap skills for y'all. So my playstyle is kind of like spread the damage out as much as I possibly can. As long as a room. So if the first and the second room takes three turns with Gojo, then that's perfectly fine. I can work with that because Gojo still has one turn in the last room, and typically Gojo can one tap in the last room. So what we do is we alternate where we're sending the damage to make sure that we're killing everybody. So I did everybody on the first guy at first, then Gojo on the last guy to go ahead and get their health working inversely. And now I reverse the order. So now it's everybody on the last guy and Gojo on this dude. And wow, I would pretty much need 100% of physical technique, 100% of physical technique, but there's also lowers crit resistance. So, let's hope that this works out and I get this kill on both of them right here. Let's hope Shoko can do what she needs to do for us. No, no, Gojo. Come here. Please, Shoko. Thank you, Shoko. Okay. That only took three turns. We have four turns left with Gojo. So, we're going to try to beat this room in three turns as well. And then when we get into the last room, we're just going to let off a of Gojo ultimate. We're going to use Kaito to buff Gojo. So, let's do this to lower your crit resistance. Let's do this to hit you hard. Let's do this. And then... If this run doesn't work for me, I think I'll come back and try to use Gojo's uh, red. Yeah, because this isn't going to work. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's just not gonna, it's not gonna work. Let's try this. Try to get a little extra damage out with the pages. Okay. No. Yeah, it's not gonna work. We're not, we're not there yet. So let me try to come in, let me try to come in and use, uh, let me try to use Gojo on the second or let me try to use gojo's ultimate in the second room and see if that gives me a better chance because <sighs> it's like maybe i could have fought out a win but like guys it is all about the three stars if you can't skip the stage then you ain't doing it right you know what i'm saying but i think i think i got the i think i got the, i think i got the remedy here i think i see where i can uh how i can do this now Okay, so we spread it with Mekamaru, and then Gojo takes the other dude. Wow, Gojo did really shitty damage just now. Hmm, I think it'll be fine though. Because if this room takes me four tries, and the next room takes me one, one turn, I should be fine. Gojo, what the hell? All right, guys, we're going to come back, and I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do what I just did, but I'm going to do it with, uh... I want to use Gojo's ultimate in the next room and see what that gets us. Give me a little boost here. Ultimate cannon. Okay. Now, we switch. Focus. And Gojo, please body this dude. Nice. Nice. Alright, so this is just looking like a three-turn room then. Oh so I definitely need Gojo to get that attack off though. He he does. Okay, 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 okay. And then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wipe this room, bruh. So I can get into that last room way faster.
Easy peasy. Dead as hell. Yep, yep, yep. And then, however many enemies are in the last room, I think we should be able to take them out. It's just one enemy in the last room, actually. Yeah! Oh, we're chilling. Hold on. Not to say I don't need the damage from Gojo's Ultimate, but low-key, I mainly just save Gojo's Ultimate in case there's multiple enemies in the room, and I'm not trying to, like, take too long fighting each one of them. But Gojo does some pretty solid damage. We're going to hit the Mechamaru Ultimate Cannon as well, which should do some pretty good damage. Come on. Come on, Ultimate Cannon. Eh, didn't do that much. Gojo only has two more turns, though. Or one turn. Okay, so... Like I said, bro, if you're not getting the three stars, it's really not that worth it. But I, I think we're screwed here for the three star. Yeah, Gojo's going. Oh, I just remembered something. I have to go. I'm not going to say we're screwed, but like Gojo was the only one doing damage. Let be real. I mean, Mechamaru, I guess. Honestly, what if I work on Mechamaru? Oh yeah, guys, my team's not quite at that level just yet where I can beat that. But I think if I give Mechamaru a little push, I might be able to get there. I just don't have the materials I need to push him right now. But that'll all change tomorrow whenever we get more stamina and I can start running some stuff up again. But yeah, guys... That is the Homesick Horizon. Remember, the rewards are super great. Uh, and remember, do these missions first. Unlock these, this mission and then get this right here. And guys, the, you see these missions have a three out of three limit on them. So these hard missions, you can only do them three times a day. Um, but the regular missions, what should do? What should do the hard missions three times a day each? You can come back and just auto battle this one and get as many um, of these as you need. And then you can go and just set up a crazy long auto farm on this dude here. Um, but I will work on... I'm going to try to have this to where I can beat it in one try by the time I stream tonight. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Because I got some I got some videos I got to record as well in between before I stream again. But if you guys did enjoy the video, then uh, leave a like on it. And comment down below and let me know. Are you planning to use these pages at all? I'm just curious. I I'm probably not going to use the one from this. But I use the one that we're getting from the actual login event. But that's gonna be it for your boy Dead Man Vince. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Y'all have a good one. Peace out.